Next Saturday, the University of Iowa Hawkeyes will take on the Michigan Wolverines in the Big Ten Championship game. Iowa, a powerhouse team made even stronger thanks to their loyal fans and one of the most inspiring college football traditions, going strong for seven years now. That tradition, bringing a smile not just to the faces of the fans in the stands, but to some of Iowa's strongest fighters off the field. And now, one of them has moved from the hospital to the gridiron. Harry Smith has this story in our Sunday Spotlight. It's time for the best tradition in college sports. For many a college football fan, this scene is quite familiar. Kinnick Stadium, University of Iowa. 75,000 fans stand at the end of the first quarter to wave to the patients at Stead Family Children's Hospital. An emotional moment never fails. Before every game, a kid captain chosen from among those patients takes the field with the Hawkeye football team. Kelby Tlander, now a student at Iowa, was seven years old. We're standing the sideline for the national anthem. And I remember it was Binns and Claiborne. They went on to play in the NFL. That's Adrian Claiborne and Broderick Binns. They're standing about the 50 yard line right here. And you know, they're waving me up. Talk about making a lasting impression. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was really something. As a toddler, T. Lander suffered untreatable hearing loss. At three, he had life-changing surgery to install a cochlear implant at the Stead Family Children's Hospital. When they stepped outside, his father said Kelby heard a bus go by. And he said, you know, there was this huge smile that lit up on my face just because I was finally able to, you know, hear the, um, the environment around me. That little kid, that kid captain, grew up to be quite a high school multi-sport athlete. Some big colleges came calling until a freak accident his senior year. I ended up getting six of my eight tendons repaired. And then on top of that, I hit one of my nerves, so I couldn't feel half my hand. Only Iowa left the door open a crack. That's t -Lander, number 25, a redshirt sophomore on the Iowa football team, a walk-on. You could have said no, I mm. think, on some level, like maybe this isn't a good idea or maybe you can't compete here. What went through your mind? He was a really good athlete, tremendous young guy, good student. Iowa head coach, Kirk Ferentz. So our attitude was let's give it a chance and let's give it a try, see where it all goes. This fall, Kelby has seen some action on special teams, made the travel squad, and met one of this year's kid captains. Six-year-old Niall Cron has two cochlear implants. I was telling him and the parents, being different, it's nothing to be ashamed of. If anything, it makes you more cool or more exciting. Being normal is boring. T. Lander is Dean's List smart and wise too. The battles on the Iowa football field, he says, don't begin to compare to what some of those kids above Kinnick Stadium face every day. You think you're going through a real challenge, you think you're going through a real fight down here, but it's nowhere near the fight that the kids are going through that are staying up in that hospital. So they inspire you then? Everybody thinks that, you know, we inspire them, but it's actually the exact opposite way. They're the ones that inspire us and they're the ones that keep us going. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Iowa City. An inspiration indeed. Our thanks to Harry for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.